you know, when we look at that 2018 draft, we spoke about Mitchell Robinson and the diamond of the of the rough that he has become for this el- for this organization and the elder statesman. Uh, now, in the lottery, things things didn't go out as as well. Um, you know, the, the Knicks did select Kevin Knox there. I thought Mikal Bridges w- was the guy that uh, that the team would have went for. You had other players like you know Michael Porter or uh, or Shea Gilgis Alexander. How did you reflect back on on that uh, on that 2018 draft? Is there anything you would have done differently? Well, you know, it's it's easy to say that now if you want to look at what guys have gone on to do at different situations. You never mm-hmm. know what they would have done coming in to New York. It's at that particular time in their lives. You know, obviously, Shea Gilgis Alexander's become, you know, he's one of the favorites for MVP this year. He's Mm -hmm. been a terrific player. But no, you know, our our process was sound. The unfortunate thing for us and for Kevin at that time, there was so much change going on. And what we knew with Kevin was that he was not going to be a guy that was necessarily immediately going to pay dividends because he was so young, but thought Mm -hmm. that maybe he could grow with the group over time but then as you know there was a lot of change he, he had to he had three coaches in three years so i don't care who you are as a a, a player especially as a young player that's going to be difficult <laughs> and uh you know he he, he was a position you know he was a talented young man coming out of kentucky he was a position uh of need at the time we thought you know at that small you know three four position kind of where the, the league was going and it didn't work. And one thing I know and I'm comfortable with, and, and if you can find this person, you find him for me. But there hasn't been a GM, I don't care whether it's basketball, football, baseball, wherever, that hasn't made a draft pick, a trade, or something that didn't work out. And I think the important thing in all of that is not to, you know, wallow in it, oh, it didn't work out, versus saying, okay, how do we recover? Because look, we're all human. There are going to be some mistakes that are made, mm. but it's how you recover. It's how you acknowledge and raise your hand. Okay, that didn't work, so let's pivot to fix it and make it work. And so that's ultimately what you go ahead and do. And I think the what was, uh, 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 and we've talked about this, what was a bonus in 2018, mm. even though we drafted him in the second round, Mitchell Robinson was viewed as a lottery type talent. Mm. So he worked, you know, go figure. He ended up working out and he's still the starting center of the Knicks today. Whereas Kevin Knox, who was the, the lottery pick now has not been able to really gain footing around the league. So I never look back. Uh, I mean, yeah, you, you know, you learn, I'm a, I'm a person that believes, you know, I learn from every situation in life, but I don't look mm. back. I don't have, you know, regrets. You can't live life in regret, man. Because if you if you start living life, you know, I should have done this, should have done that. I mean, think about all of us in life. How many times could we be saying that? And, and yeah. you, you never get anywhere. You have to move forward. 